Hello to anyone watching this. I really enjoy keeping up with Just Dance games every single year, you know, seeing which songs get added and in some cases don't get added. But I do feel like recently I'm starting to feel a bit of a slump with the franchise. To me at least, it feels like the more recent games have been entirely focused on adding songs from just the past couple of years, compared to the earlier games that felt like they went out of their way to evenly represent each decade on their song lists. And it's all well and good to just think that that's happening, but it's a lot better to actually prove that it's happening. So today I just wanted to go through every Just Dance game and add up how many songs that they have from each decade, just for the sake of seeing how all of the numbers add up and if the series is truly skewing towards more modern songs as it goes on. So before I get started, I do need to give out a lot of prefacing, just so that I'm completely clear about how I got to the exact numbers that I did for each of these games. Firstly, I'm only going to be covering the main numbered or yeared Just Dance games, you know. All of the spin-offs are either based entirely around one artist, which would just give a redundant set of statistics, or are the kid-oriented games where their song lists just have a completely different aim compared to the main games' song lists, if that makes sense. But I will be counting the kids' section of main Just Dance games towards the overall number of songs for each game that that mode appears in. In terms of DLC songs, I'll only be counting the ones that are new to that game, so any that are brought back aren't going to be counted twice. And also the DLC count is going to be separate from the main song list because most of the time DLC is just to add songs released within the year that that game came out and they weren't able to make the base game, so if I added those to the main count, it would just be unfair at that point. And that rule obviously also applies to songs added to Just Dance Unlimited and Just Dance Plus. And also, the songs that were brought over from ABBA You Can Dance in 2018 are count as being brought back from a previous game because, you know, they were brought back from a previous game even if it wasn't a main Just Dance title. If a song was found to be scrapped in one game, but then brought back in another, I'll only count its actual appearance in a song list, because, you know, most of these songs were probably scrapped for a reason, so there's no point counting it where it doesn't actually appear in-game. Which, overall, does mean that Dancing Queen is the single hardest song to quantify in the entire series, which... I'm entirely okay with, you know, good for it. In terms of counting covers of songs, if the cover's made by Ubisoft, then I'll just count it as the original song's year of release, but if it's a song made by a completely separate band, like the Girls Allowed cover of Jump, then I'll count it as the year that that cover released. I just think that's a fair way to look at it, you know, when Ubisoft do a cover of a song, it's clearly because they wanted the original but they couldn't get access to it, unlike using someone else's version of a song, you know? Now the way that I actually got all of the numbers that I did was by simply going to the Just Dance wiki page for each of these games and scrolling through the song lists and just tallying down what decade each of the songs came from. So there's every chance that they accidentally have some misinformation or that I accidentally scrolled past a song or double counted a song that got brought back as DLC or something like that. But I like to hope that the overall numbers that I have are generally representative of the points that I'm making, you know what I mean? Like, hopefully the margin of error with each of these games is just one at most, and you can understand that I'm human and probably made a mistake somewhere. 
you know, you'll probably be staring at the number sheets that I throw up and just be like, that's a really obvious mistake. You could have easily be caught in editing. And I'll be like, yeah, fair enough. But, you know, like I said, the points that I'm making are probably strong enough. One thing that's not going to be a mistake though is my overall counting of percentages because with each decade in each game I just rounded up their total to the nearest whole number meaning that there's probably going to be some games that total to 99, 98 or god forbid 97% but that's just how rounding works sometimes on this bitch of a planet. One last thing, I'm not going to be going into any specific songs with each of these lists. You know, this is just about the overall representation of each decade in each game, you know. It's not Seven Rings' fault that Just Dance 2020 has another 2010 song in it, you know. It's just about the overall package that you get with each game. And I am aware that these packages are more often than not intended to represent the year that they come out in. I just think that if you are going to represent older decades as well, you need to have a proper percentage of that. You know, you can't just entirely lean on new songs because I just don't think that's as appealing. But without any further ado, let's finally get into it. I'm just going to have a quick natter about the patterns that I think each of these song lists show. Starting with Just Dance 1. And considering that this game is one step up from shovelware, I'm surprised at how many more modern songs for the time this game manages to have. Like I'm not at all surprised that the majority of the songs come from outside of the decade that this game released in. I just never thought that this game had a third Naughties track, you know? I genuinely thought it was just like hot and cold and that B-52 song and that's it, you know? 11 is just not the number I expected. But I just think that this is an extremely well-rounded first selection. Like, I will die on the hill that Just Dance 1 has one of the best song lists in the entire series, so I can't help but be biased when I say that this is a good starting point in terms of representation of each decade. Just Dance 2 caught me even more off guard because I genuinely never thought this game was half comprised of modern songs. But I mean, at least the other half is extremely balanced between all of the decades, so you still get a really good sampling of what each of them have to offer. And the DLC in this game is interesting because this was kind of before it became entirely focused on just bringing in the newest hits, you know, as you can see, almost half of that list is comprised of non-modern songs, so Just Dance 2 is quite interesting for still trying to keep the same sort of theme as Just Dance 1, but at the same time the devs clearly had the budget to start bringing in more and more modern songs. Just Dance 3 is pretty much the same story as 2, but now that we're more into the new decade, it's understandable that there's more 2010 songs than naughty songs but you can still call the naughty songs part of the modern part of this song list it's also interesting how the pre naughties decades have about the same number of songs as just dance 2 but for some reason they're way more weighted towards the 90s but at least each decade still has a good few songs each and with the DLC, as you can see, this is where it started to skew way more towards modern songs. But, you know, a few 90s songs in there for good measure, it helps to balance it out at least. Just Dance 4 is where the overall presentation of the game started to become a lot more modern. And that's very apparent with the song list, as now it's way more skewed towards modern songs and this is the first time we see a decade not have any representation in the game. I think it's funny how just three years ago the classic part of the song list took up two thirds of the roster while the new songs were only one third and that's already been flipped on its head. 
And fair warning, I'm not going to be talking about DLC for a good while after this, because apart from one exception, until the start of the next decade, this is pretty much where the DLC songs become entirely representing of the newest hits that couldn't make the base game, you know? Just Dance 2014 is definitely the game where the naughties become a non-factor in these song lists, which, I mean, it makes sense given the new naming scheme for the games. But you know, it's nice that all of the different decades have got representation again, even if it's not nearly as balanced as it was before, it's still, you know, it's nice to see. And it's fun that the 70s are the non-current decade that get the most representation in this game, you know? It's a good mix-up from the 90s that's been carrying that title for a good while. Just Dance 2015, on the surface, makes it look like the modern representation in these games is starting to plateau, as for the first time the amount of songs from the most current decade hasn't increased from the previous game, but you know that's mainly because this base game has less songs than the previous one, so it balances itself out. And you know, for what it's worth, the amount of songs from each older decade is a lot more even than the previous game, even though that's just because there's less to go around, you know? It's the thought that counts, I think. But it is nice that the most represented older decade has once again changed, this time to the 80s, you know? It's probably just an unintentional pattern, but I still think it's nice that each decade is getting its own slight little bit of time in the spotlight in that sense. Just Dance 2016 is pretty much the same as 2015, except obviously there's one more 2010 song, and once again the decade has got absolutely no representation. It's just a shame how you can tell that modernity is increasingly taking over these song lists, but at least this was where Unlimited came into the picture, you know, I'm sure that the launch version of that had plenty of 90s songs to keep fans of that decade happy at least. Just Dance 2017 does follow the patterns that we've been seeing, and it's made even worse by the fact that even though this base song list has two less than the previous couple of games, it still somehow finds room for one more 2010 song than the previous game. I do think that a lot of its choices for older songs are still quite interesting. Like, even though this is another game where a decade has no representation, like, the noughties has all the single ladies and hips don't lie. Like, it earns its double digit percentage representation in this song list. Just Dance 2018 is where things start to slightly look up again, like there's 8 more songs than in the previous game and only 7 of them go to the 2010s, it's so much fairer now. And it's nice to see all of the different decades getting representation again, even though it does look like the distribution was done with almost clinical precision to give out songs based on proximity to the current decade. And there's finally something to say about the DLC songs again, because we have one that's not from the 2010s. And it's just the Dancing Queen routine that's been dug back up from 2015, sort of shoved into Unlimited to promote Mamma Mia 2. Hooray! Just Dance 2019 is like 2018 but more depressing because even though this song list has two more than the previous game, they both go to the 2010s and the 2010s also nix two of the naughty songs. Like the only real positives I have are that at least all of the decades still have some representation 
and that representation is now even more evenly distributed than before. Just Dance 2020 is like Just Dance 2019, but even more depressing because even though there are two more songs than before, both of them go to the 2010s. And the 2010s also nicks the 60s only song. I have nothing else to say. Like, even though this song list was probably decided before 2020, 2020s, it still feels like a very 2020 song list. Just Dance 2021 is more interesting because there's obviously a new decade that needs representing. And similarly to Just Dance 2 and 3, because it's so new, it doesn't have enough songs to take up the majority of the list. Even though you can just sort of lump it in with the previous decade to count for the modern representation in the song list, and that's still an overwhelming amount. But the older decades are also more interesting to look at here, because obviously for the first time two of them have no representation, and that seems to have happened so that the noughties can get a oddly high amount of representation. Like obviously when I say those sorts of things I'm being facetious, like there wasn't no 80s song so there could be more naughty songs. It's just kind of a weird thing, especially when you look at Unlimited and see that the Naughties randomly have a song in there as well. Just Dance 2022 was when I first really noticed how unbalanced these song lists are getting. Like, obviously it's fair enough that the 2020s are now the most represented decade in the song list. But, I mean, just look at it. There are four songs that came out before the year 2000. Like, who could have possibly decided that that was a fair amount? Like, it's nice that the noughties still have their double-digit percentage representation, but it's like... I don't think I'm being unreasonable when I say that there should be more pre-2000 songs in these lists, because Just Dance really has never been about the most current year to me. Like, obviously I understand that a majority of songs are going to come from there at this point, but I still feel like it should represent every possible genre that it can. And Unlimited is even more cruel than the base song list because it's already moved on from adding any 2010 songs. Just, while I do really appreciate this game for modernising the look of all the routines, I don't like that it came at the cost of fully modernising the song lists. Just Dance 2023 is even worse because there's one more naughty song and one less pre-2000 song, so it's even less balanced than last year. At least Just Dance Plus seems to be fairer than Unlimited, you know, it's got some 2010 songs in the mix. Even though I still see them as just as modern as the 2020 songs, you know? It's the thought that counts, I guess. Just Dance 2024 is much more what I want out of these newer song lists. Like, it's nice to finally see representation for all of the decades again, and the Norseas has finally reined it back in a bit. This is where the 2010s are really starting to lose their representation, but I still think if you sort of add them to the 2020s as the modern songs, I think them taking up three quarters of the song list is about as balanced as it's going to get these days. You know, we're still getting 10 great older songs. And to be fair, there are only so many songs that came out before the year 2000, you know? It makes sense that eventually they'd have to pretty much give up representing the older decades, but I still hope they can keep them represented year after year. Meanwhile with Plus, oh my god, this is the most balanced selection of add-on songs since Just Dance 2. Obviously this is all down to the theming that they give each season of content, you know, we've had Disney and Y2K. Like, that's really clever in terms of bundling together a group of songs that don't have to represent the current year. So yeah, I'm glad that we can end on such a high note. Just, I know I've been doing a lot of bitching throughout this, I just... 
absolutely love the creativity and pretty much all of the routines that the Just Dance team come up with. You know, I just wish they were more evenly applied to older songs as much as newer songs. And at the end of the day, if the team wanted to, they could very easily just make each game a list of 40 odd songs that have come out in the past year. So even though I am upset that some years we only get three classics, it's better than getting none. But yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, do let me know. Just, I have no idea what's going to be in the 2025 song list, but considering its recent gain in popularity, I think that a quite safe bet is Murder on the Dance Floor. And I am so glad that I mentioned wanting Sophie Ellis Baxter songs in the game last year, because I'd really hate to be called a fake fan if I suggested it this year. Uh, but bye bye, have a nice day.